today we will hand out the award for, for the best IPO of the year to the Turkish company Ebebek. We are very happy. I think this was a, a really fantastic IPO. And during all of these years that we've been handing out this prize, I think this, this one really stands out, especially we thinking about the performance and the large amount of, of participation from the Turkish population. So congratulations again. We are truly honored to have received uh, this award. Thank you very much for uh, placing your trust in us. Uh, I think it is validation of the trust that we have built since our uh, inspect, uh, inception as um, evidence uh, by the record participation in our IPO. It's truly remarkable to see the potential of our brand being recognized on a global scale. Uh, East Capital, as a highly esteemed international investor, has made a significant move by entering in, in Turkish stock market through the public offering of Ebebek. This recognition, which has also uh, caught the attention of the Financial Times, has significantly enhanced the corporate reputation of Ebebek. And it's a thrilling endorsement of our aspiration and capabilities on an international uh, level. And we have ambitious plans to expand into Europe and the Middle East. We uh, prioritize sustainability and invest in solar energy to reduce our expenses and uh, enhance uh, efficiency. Uh, excited to create a greener future. It's our great pleasure to announce Mr. Neos as the winner of the 2023 East Capital Award for Best Corporate Governance. Congratulations. Thank you in advance for the award you give us to us. You know, it's uh, it's very it's an honor for us. Uh, in our group, this recognition particularly when it comes from an asset manager with a long history like you, with a long history of social investment, showcases our leading position on a sustainability commitment level. Congratulations, Mikolinos. I have the CEO of Finvolution, Mr. Tim Lee, uh, as the recipient for the East Capital Award for Best Growth. We have strengthened our strategy of local workers and the global army. Uh, going forward, we would like to uh, copy our uh, successful experience to develop financial uh, services in more countries. At the moment, we developed uh, very fast in the Philippines market, uh, in the Indonesia markets, as well as in the Philippines. Uh, but in the future, we will not limit ourselves in the ASEAN market, but also tap into more markets, for example, Africa and uh, Lucky America. We have the capabilities in customer acquisition and the quality performance. I think we can get the benefits from the from the market consolidation in the future. Maybe you have uh, have seen yeah the, the micro data in China maybe is not good enough. Yeah, some some data is good as is not good enough. Um, but I think uh, it's a uh, it's uh, it's in the gradually recovery and uh, it's sure we have the confidence for the for the future, yeah, the channel will be will become better. So um, I'd like to say our business in China and here we will maintain the progressive growth in the near future. And in line with our rapid growth in the international market. Yeah. Okay, thanks again. Okay.